Hey guys, what's going on everybody? Welcome to this video. It's Android version 4.4.2 and uh, yeah, custom ROM Liquid Smooth 3.0 uh, and yeah, I reviewed um, Liquid Smooth 4.2.2 uh, and yeah, now it's time for KitKat and yeah, you can see it, Liquid Smooth 3.0 and yeah, let's check it out. Yeah, LS Liquid Smooth, great e-stack. And yeah, as you can see, it's an early version. Uh, you can see that the developer has not um, much time spent. Has not spent uh, much time in the e stack. Yeah, but that's not a big deal for us. We concentrate on the features now and um, how fast it is. Very fast, warm, very fluid, and you get a lot of nice features you won't go get on any other ROM. So yeah, uh, the Cronus widget is like, is like the, uh, yeah, the bonus in every custom ROM nowadays. You get it in every ROM. You get uh, the clock, date, and uh, weather widget. You can edit also. You can change the weather widget, the weather icon. You can change the text colors and stuff. But yeah, that's only a, a small feature. Let's get to the main features. Yeah, you can see background is liquid smooth. I don't get uh, why it is not centered in uh, the newer ROMs. I don't know why. Maybe one of you guys know it and you can post it in the comment section below. Let's check out wallpapers first. That's always the um, biggest deal for me. Uh, you get only one uh, liquid smooth official wallpaper that's a little bit sad, but you can download them on the web. Um, but yeah, you won't get them stock. So um, yeah, very basic ROM here, very basic wallpapers. Of course, you will get the um, stock wallpapers. This looks uh, very nice with the Liquid Smooth. Also blue themed. You can see icons are also blue themed. Very great. And um, status bar, it, it's not um, completely transparent. It has like a fade effect with a gradient. Yeah, white icons as uh, in any other KitKat ROM. Mm, yeah, blue themed gallery icon and um, messaging and stuff. Let's check out the lock screen, which is great. Um, you can uh, see your notifications here. So if you want to have a cleaner look and uh, you want to have your Lock screen, full screen, uh, which you can enable in settings. You can uh, you can make it disappear here, your status bar, and you can have your um, notifications right here. So you can swipe it in, swipe it in, or swipe them away. Uh, no, on the top not. Mm, you can swipe it in and then tap it, and then get to your get to your app which the notification is from. So yeah, not a big deal for me because I can slide down here and have them here. I don't bother to have it on the top, my notification tray. Let's jump uh, right into settings, which is the main uh, spot of custom features. Let's check out the um, notification tray once again. You have your clear here and your Link to quick settings. Uh, yeah, nothing special here. You can go to settings here also. Connection manager, enable manager. You can um, enable to um, to uh, go for 2G with screen off. That saves a lot of battery. Very great implementation in uh, Liquid Smooth ROM. So that's very cool. Time to switch to 2G. You can make it to 10 minutes or even one hour. You can check it out quickly. Uh, time to switch up to 20 minutes. And 3G to unlock. Also really cool. Uh, you can uh, check the credits here about the connection manager. The connection manager Taylor Radio as a feature created by Tilo King Rom. Great. Yeah, you cannot tap it. Interface is like um, in AOKP. It's a little bit strange for me to say AOKP because I haven't uh, have 
reviewed it like two months. Time for AOKP once again. Maybe next ROM review is AOKP. Great features on the Liquid Smooth ROM once again in 4.4.2. Animation controls, you can edit them. Uh, great. Uh, activity close. Wallpaper open. Oh my god, you can. Oh my god. You can change uh, animations for every single every single uh, move you make wallpaper close let's check out one um activity open slide in <laughs> oh my god you have lots and lots of customization here grow in bottom let's check this one out uh settings yeah grow in bottom um yeah let's check out another one because that's very cool oh yeah i almost forget it to show you the recent apps is redesigned in liquid smooth you have a cleaner look looks a lot like um sense 5 yeah sense 5 and you have your clear button right down there that's very cool you can tap it and clear all very clean look i have to say props to the developer very great rom design I love it. Great. So yeah, let's clear them. Then jump right into settings once again. And go to interface. Yeah. Animation controls and um, activity open. Yeah, great. Yeah, you will see the effect right now. Great effect. It grows in from the um, bottom right. Great. Um, activity close. Let's choose another one. Uh, slide in right. No fade. Oh yeah, great. You can change everything. Great ROM. I have to say it. Um, new version is out right now. As I review this ROM, I looked it up on XDA. Hadn't uh, time to refresh it, but yeah, this ROM shows you what you will get. And yeah, in the main features, let's jump to lock screen. Nothing new here. Battery around ring. Display battery level. Oh yeah, I love it. It's like MIUI. Great feature. I will show you what I mean. So battery around ring is um, this one. As you charge it, you will see the uh, percentage in a ring. Like I have uh, 23. Yeah, it's one fourth. Um, almost. Great. When you charge it, it's orange. And let's see what you can do. Um, what you can also do is go to navigation and um, change your change your your hardware buttons. Yeah, let's check it out. Backlight, great. Illumination timeout. I love to edit this one. I haven't seen it in uh, in the past. This feature. I have seen it on stock ROMs, but not on AOSP ROMs in a long time. Maybe I am wrong. So yeah, when you don't tap them, you can change the backlight duration as you navigate in the phone. Enable navbar, you don't need that. I think you can always go ahead and and activate that. Performance, you cannot overclock. Um, KitKat ROMs right now, 4.4.2 is not able to be overclocked. I have seen it in 4.2.2 and in most 4.1.2 ROMs. So yeah, very great. But you can change the governor, of course. Uh, maybe we make a speed test in a minute, but let's check out status bar. You know that. Battery icon, I love to have my circle with percentage. Great. You can see it. I will show you right now. No, why it's, it's gone. Why? Oh, yeah, great. There it is. Folks. Ah, uh, it does reboot. 
So yeah, that's the little bug you will expect. Uh, I have expected that because this is an early build, I hope. It's not throughout the round now. Let me fix this quickly. So guys, uh, a small fix for that. Just tap on uh, reset uh, battery colors, which is uh, right here in the top right. Let's proceed or this video will be too long, I guess. Uh, you can mess with it. I just want to show you the main features. Active display, great feature for Moto X. Enable, great. You will have a notification pop up when your display is off and you can see which um, app uh, you get the notification from. Oh, I talked too, too, uh, too fast here. I'm just so excited that um, these great features are on old phone like this. Motorola Razr uh, literally never dies. You have great recovery, great ROMs and great uh, support in the forums on XDA. Let's go to notification drawer. This is like um, any other ROM. You can uh, change like tiles per row, you can change order and you can select uh, your transparency, you can even you can even change carrier label, that's very great. Um, flip the tiles on touch, I like that very much. I'll show you what I mean. I also changed, oh yeah great, a new comment. Thanks guys for comments, that's very cool. So I, I enabled uh, five in a row. And uh, when you tap, it uh, flips normally. Go to Wi-Fi. Yeah, it flips. Great animation. Just a small thing here. Pi control, you know that from uh, Paranoid Android. Enable Pi control from right or left. Trigger options. Trigger left screen border. Uh, yeah, I don't know why this won't work, but it works. I guarantee you that. Total blackout blacks out every menu and every every single. Uh, why have I a sponge here? Oh, great! My paper, my great drawing, is now ruined. Yeah, this was um, liquid smooth. It's an early build, it's 3.0, it's latest KitKat, with great features, great speed and uh, fluidity uh, throughout the whole UI. You can even change animations. And guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, that would be great. And I will see you in the next ROM review, I will search for new ROMs. And yeah, a new thing is planned, maybe I get a um, little bit older phone like Nexus S or Galaxy Nexus again. I just want to uh, get into that AOSP world again and flash some cool ROMs. But of course, I will keep up the support for Motorola Razr. You can add me on Facebook, you will see uh, the link in the description and also for the ROM. Have a great day, guys. See you in the next one. And outtakes. Yeah, latest Liquid Smooth ROM 3.2. And yeah, new uh, nightlies are available. Ele available. Yeah, great. La Razer. Yeah, 4.4.2 Android version. And my screen is going off. Great. Uh, yeah, works great. Great video. Yeah, nice.